Sup shitters, my name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to an SU Patrons video that I'm making for Gil. Uh, for new radicals, you get what you give. And if we switch over to here, we have it on the screen, and the question that I've been asked today. Why did they disband after producing this song or this album? They said they can never produce another hit like this, do I agree? So that will be the question that we're trying to answer today. Uh, so we're going to listen through this track from start to finish, and we're going to hear what we think. And I believe personally, just before I get into it, that this is one of those songs that I think I've heard before, but I can't, the tune isn't immediately coming to me from the name. So, so let's get into it. Oh, it's absolutely there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly it. I think that there is this instant charisma to it. It's so chill at the start with these sort of jangly guitars. Then those drums come in and they hit you like a sack of bricks. You've got those kind of soft vocals if we go back a little bit. And you've got the jingly tambourines. And some sliding guitar with some delayed delay reverb tunes. It's so instantly atmospheric, and I love the sound on the left there, the wishy-washy sound, the, the, the builds of that volume there. It's fascinating panning from a stereo perspective. I'm just gonna have a listen through these lyrics as I go. It's I I, I my my first language is English, so I think we'll be okay in that regard. Although maybe you guys want captions. Oh, there are no captions for this. That's okay. <laughs> first we won, and then we laugh until we cry. Damn, that, that's that's kind of rough, right? You got the music in you. What a seamless, sort of flawless transition it is from that bridge into that chorus in there. I love the little twirl he does in the video as well. It's it's kind of upbeat, isn't it? I think this is going to go for that gentle positivity kind of angle there. I just love how suddenly the other instruments in the mix have been built up. We've got, you know, the piano there, which is so smooth, even when it's got like bop, 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 that kind of groove to it. And the bass is so well as a foundation of the bass, you know, like... The, the bass and the piano and the the guitars and the drums and everything are so well mixed that it just seems like one flowing journey. There's nothing to take you out of that experience, that state of flow. Really fun way to finish that with those distorted guitars there. Bow, bow, bow. It's kind of triumphant, like, yes, that's what you need to take away from this. You only get what you give. we just got to make the most of the opportunities we have and do what we can from it. Really lovely, uplifting message there. I like the the um I like the story they were telling actually. You know, we're talking about being flat broke, but we're doing it in styles, if to say, you know, I know that things are difficult in our lives, but we're going to to do what we can to um to make the most of it anyways. I, I, I like that. I think I don't know when this was released necessarily. But that message still it's kind of evergreen, isn't it?
don't give up, you've got a reason to live. The music is so jangly and enthusiastic and fresh sounding because it wants to support that message coming from the vocals. Oh, and guitar solo time. Nice panic from the left to right. That was a really classy little a unison bend part there on that distorted guitar. It was um, it was great because you not only had the cleans on the right and then the left, but then you had that second stage in there of a different texture, and it just kept that that instrumental part fresh. Keep in mind, we're almost three minutes through. I like the fact that we had those additional vocals come in, those backing ones at the last part of that held note there. Because we weren't even content with just having a s one semblance of continuity there with, with that note there. We needed to continue to elevate it. Even if we're not messing around with the perceived loudness, it's, it's kind of filling and removing little niches that can be sort of sort of dissected and manipulated within the overall harmony and arrangement. And New Radicals have smashed it, dude. I'm really impressed with this, actually. Um, I haven't listened to this song that closely before, and I'm really glad that I am now. Great job. But the guy's got a fantastic voice as well. I like how he goes that cleanly into his falsetto. I've never... But this is the difference between when I listen to stuff casually and when I review it. When I listen to it casually, I might hear a part of it and not understand the context of it and go, actually, why is this the way it is? You know, why why is this constructed like this? Do we really need to approach it as such? And then, you know, in another perspective, I I hear this and I think you know, the whole way through, I think, oh, yeah, I get it. I understand why he's he's singing like that. When you understand the story and the fact that he's told that it, it's a fairly intense story. It's got to be a little bit more lighthearted as if he's calling out, singing out to the world. Uh, shout out to the bass player as well. Did you hear that little riff higher up on that fraudboard there and, and how smooth that was? I like how we've been so generous to the other instrumentalists aside from the vocalists. You know, there's been like that bass line where it explores the fretboard, goes up to that higher range and just reserved to the root notes. We've got a couple of guitar solos and lead parts there, some nice slide parts as well. And the drums are nice and explorative, some interesting fills there. Cool. There's a lot to appreciate. There's a sick groove there that's continued and kept her out. We don't manipulate it too much or change it up. Oh. Come around, you'll kick your asses. Dude, this was an anthem, wasn't it? Dude, that's an anthem. That's an anthem, wow. Like for realsies, I didn't know that this was the quality of it. Can I find a part where they all come in? I'm trying to see if I can find a point where there's the whole band. Because this is my review of New Radicals, you get what you give. Uh, NSP Patreon video for girl. Uh, remembering if you want to become an SP patron, you can join us the Patreon page we have linked in the description. Um, if you want, you know, music reviews done monthly. But the story of the song, I, I think it's about people saying, like, I know you're struggling and I know that you're in a difficult place. But if you continue to put as much effort a, a, as you can and to try and make your life better, it will nonetheless probably improve. It's not a waste of time. Don't give up. You've got a reason to live, continue to try and make the most of it. I, I think that as my first impression to New Radicals, I think this is legitimately phenomenal. I, I think this is a really great first impression. And again, I cannot emphasize how and as much or enough that I am so grateful to be hearing this in a more of an analytical perspective. The vocals are sensational. The guy's got great pipes, great technique. Comfortable in his range, but also goes easily into that falsetto without a struggle, you know, a bit of, 
bit of vibrato there. It's just so effortless for, for him, and I really hope that he's... I, again, I don't know a lot about the New Radicals, but I hope they've continued to make other great music. You know, we've got the structure of the track, which had that traditional verse br bridge chorus structure, but also had some solo sections and instrumental parts, like little interludes and solo bits. And then like that kind of double kind of part at the end, where we had like a new lead line talking about Marilyn Manson and stuff like that, and kicking asses and such alongside the chorus line and the falsetto part. And we had instrumental intros and outros. It's just, it's just wild, man. It's just so much effort put into my arranging this track and making it interesting and special throughout. It's really, it's really cool, man. Really cool. Musicianship, like the instrumental performances from the guitar, uh, with their little solo -y bits and most of the rhythm work is just sensational. You know, nice coloration there without making it too complicated. Bass line, again, stuck to the root notes, but, but, but then also explored the fretboard and went some higher mid ranges that are even out the mid tones and the frequency spectrum and just kind of make it sound a bit brighter and more cheery. The drums were fantastic. They kept the groove the entire time. There were some little fills as well there, but he knew to sort of pocket himself a little bit, I think. And he didn't want to sort of like overtake uh, the vocals or any of the other instruments to mix the attention because he knew that his role was to be supportive. And finally, um, you know, the, the, there was piano playing as well that I could hear, and the piano playing was sensational. It kept the chord triads going strong, nice eighth note groove that was in sync with the hi-hats, and generally just um, a really nice cohesive performance that illustrated the chemistry between the band members involved, including the singer. It's just so special. And then finally, the recording, mixing, and mastering, I think that um, it was absolutely top notch. There wasn't a single single thing I changed about it. You know, the panning, it's not just the mix leveling and EQing and the filtering and the effects changes on different instruments, but also it's like the little things like the builds and dynamic changes and the, the decisions to like pan instruments on different parts and have the guitars going around the mix. You can tell that they had a lot of fun producing this in the studio side as well as in the recording phase. And I, I think that to answer the question um, that we had initially, which was why did they disband after producing the song album? You know, they said they could never produce another hit like this. I don't know if it would have been impossible for New Radicals to have made a song that was as successful as this. But I think what's important to understand about musicians is that a lot of the time there are many things that lead to a track becoming this huge. There's several perspectives from it, so I'm gonna explore a couple of them. The first is um, that simply, you know, you not only need to be as skilled, talented, creative and dedicated and as these musicians are, you not only need to have the ability to carry and write songs and, and produce it as well as these guys, but you also need to have the marketing, the promotion behind it, the social situation, genuine ambition and authenticity in the performance and the message, and you need to resonate with people. And you have to, in order for a track to be, you know, this, um, this popular, you need all of those things plus luck. The luck that that niche hasn't already been filled yet. And for New Radicals, I genuinely believe that they absolutely just had they were at the right place at the right time with this song. If you tried to release a track like this now, I don't think it would be nearly as effective because the market is so much more saturated and, and a lot of musicians are trying to do this without maybe being as genuine as New Radicals were. You know, a lot of musicians are aware that people are struggling, so they try to, even if they're not necessarily struggling, or even if they are, they try to, they, they might assume that their struggling is equivalent to all of these people struggling. And because of that, it's very difficult to get the same kind of experience as you would listening to New Radicals. The second reason I think they might have disbanded is simply because maybe they just made the music they wanted and they realized that they were at the top and they realized that any music beyond this would just be, it wouldn't be at the same level because maybe they just knew they, that maybe they, they didn't have more they wanted to discuss. Like if you think about an album, an album is a collection of ideas or a theme that you wanna, or themes that you wanna communicate with a listener. And sometimes you don't actually have more than one album in you. Some musicians will take decades to produce another album. Some will have a lot to say and they'll release some every year or every six months even. It really depends on who you are as a person, but I would venture to say that it's probably better to stop when you're ahead. And I think New Radicals, maybe they thought they were, they'd were done what they wanted to do. They couldn't release something again like this. Because I suppose if you consider, for instance, like, how much money do you think they made from this song? Like, how much money? Because um, if we go back, this has got 133 million plays on, on YouTube. 
But what you've got to understand is that this was released, this was released in 1998. And that was when the height of the CD sales were going there. And so if these guys were blowing up, if these guys were blowing up, they would have made a lot of money. And not only that, New Radicals, depending on the record deal they got, they, they will be making money to this day. Like they will be getting paid royalty payments on this song forever, for eternity. And their estate, well, when they die, you know what I mean? Like I know it's really dark, but they not, they, they made, they've made a lot of money. So if you think about what this track is talking about, where it's about musicians who maybe when they wrote this, they weren't doing well. And so they could relate to the, what it was like to struggle. But you imagine if you suddenly became a millionaire and then you're having to try and explain to people why like you can relate to them struggling when you're so rich that you never even need to worry about money again you know i suppose maybe they were concerned that they wouldn't be able to be as authentic or maybe they just didn't feel the need to write any more music because they'd succeeded as career musicians i don't know this is my review though of new radicals you get what you give um hopefully you enjoyed it i can't know for sure why they split up but i've tried to give the best answers i can and i just want to thank again um, Gil and all the SP patrons for their um, suggestions for these uh, monthly reviews. If you enjoy this track, please do go check out New Radicals' various social medias and their YouTube page. I mean, I know that they're not going at the moment, but, but you know what I mean. Stay cool and stay safe, and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. It's either hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world, and I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out.